Today on Talking Without Thinking, we have Jason in the Mystery Burrito. We are going to talk about some nostalgia glasses with the Gremlins 1 and 2 movies. We have some DoorDash disasters for you. We're going to power rank our top five Thanksgiving sides for Turkey Day this week. We have a follow-up on one of our judge and jury segments from a couple of weeks ago. And of course, we're going to give you today's best week of the week. So let's get the episode started, shall we? Let's do it. Welcome to Talking Without Thinking with your hosts, Jared, Jason, Stevie, and me, Scott. It worked. And the slow fade. (laughs) What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Talking Without Thinking, episode number 92. Close. So... Big news, big news. We were able to find some of the old episodes on our Facebook page. Thankfully, we posted them like as video files. So I'm like, oh, sl- yeah. so I'm Directly slowly ripping them. Yes. That's wild. So I'm, I'm slowly ripping them off of Facebook and like creating audio files again. So we'll have you probably about over? like a little over half of the old episodes we'll be able to kind of upload again. We may put them like is a subscription thing like uh not quite patreon it's not patreon but like it's uh, only fans it's only fans 4.99 oh, yeah. a month uh Big so we're, pictures for everybody we're gonna add it to that um <laughs> and it's gonna be like five bucks a month we'll get old episodes and i think we might do some bonus episodes on there too of uh the current the current setup so stay tuned we're working on that anyways we've got a good show for you guys today we hope um, we're going to kick it off with Jason. He just, he just told us that he wanted to talk about a mystery burrito and that's all I got. He told us nothing else. So Jason, do do your thing, man. Tell us what's up with this mystery burrito. This is technically a am I the asshole I realized, but so <laughs> I go over to my, my lovely parents' house for dinner as I do sometimes and I'm walking up to the front porch, and there's a bag sitting right on the front porch. And I'm like, what? What is in this bag? So I pick the bag up, and it's from Chipotle. And I'm like, is my order Chipotle? So I bring the bag inside with me, and I, my dad's there, and I'm like, I, did you order Chipotle? And he's like, no, no, somebody dropped that off by accident. They're going to come back and get it. And I'm like, no, they're not. No one comes back and get the food. <laughs> and so like, I, I, I was like, I, gra- I, I take the, the burrito and he was making like hamburgers or something. And I was like, I'll see this too. I'll throw in the pile. I haven't eaten all day. I eat like once a day now. So every meal is amazing when you finally get to it. And my dad's like, don't eat that. It might have fentanyl in it or they're going to come back and get it. And he told me like he, he put like a Facebook message out in their Facebook neighborhood thing asking about this might forget a, forget a burrito. And I'm like, this is dumb as shit. I'm just eating this fucking burrito <laughs> along with this hamburger. There's no way they're going to respond to that. So There's no way like, anyone's going to respond. Pissed. I feel like your dad enraged. should work for DoorDash because he's going above and beyond to make sure that food finds his home. It's not the worst idea. He might actually fare well doing that. But he was just like, <laughs> he was so concerned about this, this, the fate of this burrito. And I'm like, dog, I'm just going to eat this burrito. Was I the asshole for eating this burrito? No. Oh. DoorDash Dominic's- screwed up. Yeah, we or, all or whoever. We all know. I, I, I imagine know it was DoorDash. It's not getting, it's, it was going to be out there, man. You, you couldn't let a burrito be wasted. At well, that point, it's finder's keeper's law. Let me, let, me, true. let me add, I don't think I'm an asshole. That I know I did the right thing because I don't give a shit. I'm going to eat this burrito. But it was really funny because my dad was just like, he was like, he was freaking out. Which I've seen him get real angry about food-related things throughout life. This one time, he kind of like accidentally ordered a ton of food from funny mention at Jackson's cafeteria and he kind of like rage quit. He kind of like shut down mentally for about 30 minutes. That's the angriest <laughs> I've ever seen him. It was over some roast beef. But, um, <laughs> not the roast beef. I'm going to be 100, 100% honest though. Yeah. Like I probably would have done the same thing. That's, that's yeah. free food at that point. That's like if someone delivers a pizza to your house, but it's not your pizza. I'll make the shit. And it depends on the kind of pizza. I listen. I'm taking that transaction as long as I don't have to pay any cash or anything. I, was about to I say, mean, that's they screwed up, not me. When you do order and pay that 4.99 delivery fee, that's you're putting it in the bank 
for when they screw up and bring you free pizza. Uh, that's pretty much that's it. That's what the delivery fee is for because they don't give it to the driver. That's for that's for free pizza. Now, one thing I did do or have done is I've buried the lead about what was inside the burrito itself. Oh, boy. I want you all to guess what was on this burrito. You know, I was actually going to ask you. You first. <laughs> I was actually going to ask you if it was like a plain Jane burrito or if like Take it actually guess. was suited up. Okay, so there's probably chicken in it, right? Rice. He doesn't know. <laughs> He's giving you the full menu. I'm not going to tell you. Oh, okay, so we're gu- we're guessing what's inside all burrito. All three of us are guessing. It's yes. Chipotle. It's burrito guess. So like... It, I would say there's like a 75% chance they order chicken because there aren't many people that don't order either chicken or steak there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. For what else? And then it's probably got, I mean, you got to have the rice, either okay. brown or white. What else? Probably uh, some you got to have in there. some queso, some black beans. Okay. Or, or pintos. Jared? I have a feeling it's going to be a weird, none of this, and it's just going to be something weird like just the vegetables. It was just a straight up vegetarian burrito. Chicken, white rice, nothing else. Are you kidding? Chicken like no rice. sour cream, nothing. no cheese. Just had nothing. a chicken and rice burrito. No salsa. Chicken, nothing. <laughs> oh chicken my God, dude. in rice in a burrito in not a, another fucking thing. It was the most <laughs> boring burrito. It was the most white person ass burrito I have ever ate in my entire life for free for some guy named. Wait, Marie so you ate the whole thing without adding anything to it? Yeah, just shaking your head the whole time. Just it was whole. I was like, who, who, and why? Like who and why? Just made it at home. Didn't you? Didn't you try throwing some S and P? For real? Like what kind of psycho has just? This must have been for like a five year old child. It had to been for a dog. (laughs) You ate a dog's food. That's what you did. That very well could be too. But but I would just get a bowl. If it was for a dog, just get that in a bowl because they don't they don't need that tortilla. No, they need the full experience. I guess you get a bougie dog. I mean, it like really isn't Bradley a Chipotle. A fucking favor. That's what it sounds like. It was. Ugh. I just. I'm not. I'm looking to give horse in the mouth. I'll admit, but it was just like this is the who who has that mid of a taste palate that all they do is order grilled chicken and white rice. Bradley was just trying to hit his his carbohydrates for the day. Wait, did it have a name? Protein. Was there a name on the bag or anything? Yeah, yeah it Bradley. was Bradley or Braden or something like that. Oh, that Braden. definitely sounds like a Braden, 100%. You know, I, keep, I keep seeing that name pop up recently. I think I said it in the last episode, too, but that's such that's the whitest kid name. The whitest Zoomer name, by the way. Yes, yes, Zoomer. Anytime, yeah, anytime someone dies in an ATV accident, there's a three out of four chance that their name was Braden. That's just a given. Brayden, Jaden, or Caden got clapped in an ATV. Or Aiden. Or He's Aiden. got Din in the name. Yeah. Yeah, it's got the, the, uh, or, uh, Din. My roommate it's is actually pretty much a picky rumor. eater, so if you would have added a bunch of cheese to that, he probably would have ate that. I he think he would have been fine. Maybe they're lactose intolerant, though. But even yeah. so, like, have some salsa, bro. Like, branch have out a little salsa. bit. I, I, I can't. I caught a little bit of cilantro that I think was put in there by accident. No, it, was it probably was in the rice. rice. Yep, yeah. it's cilantro it's rice. Their, it's their rice. I'm sure they'd take that out too if they could, but unfortunately, it comes <laughs> with the rice. <laughs> and it just buries it in, you know, ranch. It oh was. Oh my god. <laughs> I know it was just like a. It, it was a very Seinfeldian kind of moment, but. And I probably wouldn't even brought it up had it not been the most boring contents burrito ever. But I'm just like, my brother in Christ, put some shit in your burrito and make it entertaining. <laughs> yeah, if you're going to leave someone else's burrito at the door, make sure it has flavor. Yeah. This is the most And I mean, their, chi- their chicken's animal. okay. Yeah. But their chicken's not good enough to stand on its own. I, I had like, Chipotle it's just burrito. not. I, I went to Chipotle not too long ago. I'm quite a fan. They really come back post COVID, but they put some hot sauce on uh, my burrito that almost killed me. So you know, I gotta respect it. <laughs> let me, dude, let me tell you that the hot hot salsa there, it's no joke. That's what I put that. Yeah, I've gotten it one time. Like, oh man, yeah, it, it didn't it digest. Gets you pretty good. You know, I could feel it, it going did. through me. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, though, it's like maybe maybe Bradley was like Braden. dying of hunger. Jayden. Yeah, Braden Bradley. Bobby Maybe they Dinesh. were dying of hunger, so they're like on their phone, like frivolously ordering this burrito, and they fuck it up. 
They're like, oh man, I forgot the like onions on there, and and then they might have screwed up the address. No, too. you you can't on the Chipotle app. Like you have to go through and select something from each category, or you have oh, to select so no. Like with beans, none. like you have to select no beans. Oh, you have thanks. to select like no cheese. Like you have no to cheese. actually make a it's selection no beans, in each one man. of those things. Yeah, it's, it's no crazy. Bueno, it's no beans, man. It's so, that dude's a psycho. I mean, I, I absolute psycho. Like, or he's five. on like a serious diet. He's like either a serious psycho, diet. Serious diet, or he's salsa is not going to affect your diet. That's true. Yeah, and rice would. So yeah, yeah. Uh, same, depending carbs. on how much rice you eat in a day. Yeah, the rice would and the tortilla. So you're yeah. better off getting a bowl at that point. So the guy has no excuse, really, is what it comes down to. Yeah, like I think it was like um, I think it was uh, white. It was wheat. It was wheat tortilla. What do you call it? The white shit. It's the white bread. It's the white not. bread. Um, it was just. It was bizarre. It was a really bizarre. How are the hamburgers? Experience. Not good. <laughs> <laughs> I hope your parents don't listen. My dad won't. Or Braden. <laughs> or Braden. Anyone named? Braden. I know. We're sorry. It's not the name. It's the guy behind. We're not the sorry. Name. Yeah, you. Well, I, I mean, I'm he sorry. didn't. He didn't name himself. Whoever Braden is. That's but right. Regardless. Regardless. Somebody's mowing their yard at nine o'clock at night in my uh, neighborhood. Another psycho. Not to mention it's raining. It's raining. <laughs> hey, that's the best time to cut your hair when it's wet. So, like, I don't know. Maybe that's the logic. Maybe it's not no. a lawnmower. Maybe it's a chainsaw and they're coming to kill you. No, it's a lawnmower for sure. I wish there was a chance. That's amazing. I can't but, really um, hear it, though. So that's, that's good. <laughs> good. As, as long as you can't hear it, it's all matter. It's really funny to me. Um, the neighborhood I live in has a lot of very interesting characters who do yard yard work. Sorry. Yard work at very strange times. But in yard closing, uh, that was a bit of a digression. In closing, life is short. Put things on your burrito that is delivered to you by DoorDash. And fuck your dog. Put it on its... Or just put that on a t-shirt. Life yeah, is short. Put stuff on your burrito. Twenty-four fucking dollars for DoorDash to bring you chicken and rice in a fucking wrap. <laughs> for it's, real, it's, dude. It's, and you know it had to have been around there. At oh, least twenty bucks. That's a mistake. How much yep. is DoorDash? I've never used. Well, because think the burrito with Chipotle is probably thirteen on DoorDash, okay. and then he probably had to pay three dollars in fee five full fun fees, and then yep. he tipped him probably three to five dollars. And then okay. you taxes yep. and, you know, just extra charge because delivery. So I'm going to continue to not use any of those services because of the... Exactly. I'll go pick up my own food. The cost is not, not there. It's definitely not. And that, honestly, I mean, we might as well just lead into the first segment. We're going oh, yeah. to do DoorDash, DoorDash disasters. Yeah. So I have... I've got a couple of couple of stories, and I'm sure you guys might too of DoorDash disasters. But I've got one that's just it takes the cake. So Are these personal stories. Yes. Oh. Oh Story yes. So uh, let's talk some DoorDash disasters, please. DoorDash disasters. The sound effects are still not working. It's so funny. They work when they feel they like it. Before we were recording. It did. I tested them all. Oh, well. All right. So I, if you remember, those who've listened to this podcast for a long, long time, remember when I boycotted, boycotted Walmart for what, like two years? Yeah. About Jesus, something like that. Yeah. Um, since then, like we ordered delivery from them for a little bit, but I still don't go into the Walmart stores if I don't have to. Something. Anyways, I have a new, I have a new boycott that I have begun uh, as of a couple of months ago. And that's DoorDash. Huh. They, uh, hopefully they never want to become a sponsor on this podcast because I'm about to kind of blast them. Um, Burn the bridge. So we moved uh, up to this area a couple of, well, about a couple of years ago now. And we were using DoorDash quite a bit because there's a lot of like new restaurants around that we wanted to try. And it was still kind of like pandemic time. So we didn't want to go out. And DoorDash mm -hmm. was like the way to go. Of course, like everybody was using those services like crazy. Um, so it got kind of the, towards the tail end of the pandemic. People were kind of doing their own thing. Things got semi back to normal, but we're still using them um, occasionally. So I don't know if you guys remember when the Popeye's chicken sandwiches came out like about a year ago. Mm -hmm. Everyone was doing ago. like a, well, has it been two years? Yeah, it came out just before the pandemic truly really hit. Okay, well, we didn't really have them. We didn't try them until about a year ago or want to yeah, try them until about back. a year ago. Yeah. 
Um, this was, yeah, I think it was about a year ago, maybe a little bit, a little what bit less than that. What was the restaurant they were fighting with? Uh, Chick-fil-A? Popeyes? Was, was it, it Chick-fil-A? Chick-fil-A? Feels right. Or KFC. Yeah, they were trying to say they had a better sandwich. Yeah, yeah. They kind of do. So, we, it was about four or five o'clock in the afternoon. I think it was a Saturday. And we're like, oh, let's, let's try those chicken sandwiches from Popeye's. That sounds good. Like, you know, we hadn't tried them before. There's a Popeye's that's super, super close to us. So like, and I, I had the dash pass for a while, which is like, you pay 10 bucks a month, you get like the free delivery. And I, uh, I'm like, all right. So we ordered like four of the, four of the chicken sandwiches. And then like, you got to get the fried chicken too. If you're going to order from Popeye's, those that aren't in this area, Popeye's is basically like KFC, but like a little bit better. Uh, like their chickens, I'm gonna their chicken's spicy. That. I think it's KFC spicy. is it's trash too. Louisiana but, KFC, yeah. basically. Yeah. Basically Louisiana KFC. So we order that we're waiting about 45 minutes to an hour, which is like the usual when it you comes to DoorDash. Gold. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so really they get there board. finally, and uh, they, like, dropped it off at our doorstep. I can't remember if we had it set up to do that way. Most of the time, they would come up and up ringing the doorbell, and we'd come and, like, you know, exchange food or whatever. You guys so change, they ring, exchange food? Exchange food. <laughs> Shake hands, you give me food. I, I give you the, the Popeyes. Here's I give some deviled eggs. I give you the fist bump. Yeah, here's... <laughs> Just freshly prepared by the door. <laughs> and some cookies for your troubles. So I take the food, I bring it in. And I'm like, this feels real light. And I look at I open it up. And all that's in it are two tiny little boxes. One, one has popcorn shrimp in it. And one has like the, the hash brown things or whatever they have. Or like, I don't know, are they like, I don't know, potato wedges or something like that. That was it. We ordered literally $60 worth of Popeyes God from damn. there. And Jesus that's all Christ. we had. So I run to the door <laughs> real quick. I open the door and they're just pulling out from my dry- driveway Skirt. and about to leave. Skirt. I yell out to them like, hey, I was like, and they stopped and rolled down the window. And I was like, yo, this isn't my food. I'm like, I think you guys got the wrong, like the wrong food or something They're like, oh, well, we'll run back to the store for you and get it. I was like, there's no way these motherfuckers are running back to the store to get my food. That's just what they wanted to tell you so they could get out of the driveway without being a dick. Yeah. And I feel about 90% positive that they ordered that other shit for themselves and didn't want it and took all my shit (laughs) and left with it. Just canceled the order. Mm -mm -mm. I imagine when you opened that bag up and saw that, you were like, all right, this is a fucking joke, right? Yeah, I know I did. I did. I was so, I was so aggravated at that point. So we ended up like ordering, I think, so of course you contact DoorDash and I feel like I have like a one way, like just a line straight to him because every single time I would order from there, there was something screwed up. They forgot something. The food was cold, whatever. We ordered Mr. Beast burgers from there, like maybe (laughs) two or three weeks before. I don't know if you guys have tried Mr. Beast burgers. No. So, you know, Mr. Beast, the YouTuber. Wait, yes. Wait, the guy that took over PewDiePie's watch account or watch numbers yeah well no his streaming or his uh subscriber yeah, count yeah, yeah. yeah he uh he has more subscribers as this he's like officially the single youtuber with the most subscribers this week but anyways yeah we ordered mr beast burgers because the first time we had them they were real good like we drove to we drove to pineville in uh in charlotte and sat in a parking lot and had them delivered to us in a parking lot because my kid wanted them for his birthday meal or whatever so that's what we did. Like we sat in a parking lot waiting for them to deliver. And it was really good. The way he does Mr. Beast Burgers is they're all to like ghost kitchens. They don't have like an actual like brick and mortar store. So yeah. you order it and like someone like, uh, I don't know. Ruby I'm trying Tuesday. to think there's like a Ruby. Because, yeah. Something like that will yeah. prepare it. My yeah. roommate shout out to Ruby used Tuesdays. to complain. Yeah, no, don't roommate, shout out to Ruby Tuesday. Ruby that place Tuesday is awful. He used to complain about Mr. Beast taking all his tips all the time. Oh, yeah. So basically, like, yeah, you order from that and they deliver it. So we ordered Mr. Beast Burgers. I'm telling you, it was like $70 worth of food because their their shit is not cheap. It's like $12 for burgers. And it's it's worth it, though. It's really good. It? But, man, we got it. I swear to you, I I thought we were eating horse meat. Like, it was so <laughs> gross. It was cold. All the French fries were cold. And, I- like... 
Food is so I, eating is so annoying. You ever think about how annoying it is to, have to eat? Like I've gotten down to eating no. one meal. I do. It's just like <laughs> I have to think about eating. I oh fucking hate it. I see the same thing That's every so- day. Basic life need. Jason's annoyed with it. He just it. wants. He just needs those meal shakes to get by. No. Ooh, the the poops would be. Oh, that would be bad. I know. I'm. I better stick with the solid food diet. But I've gotten down to eating like basically one meal a day out of sheer annoyance by like not wanting to eat. It's just annoying. Is it? Is it the chewing that gets to you? That's the best part. It's just like the whole like the food. It's just like <laughs> it's just annoying. Jason just likes chewing. All right, well, doesn't Jason, like the food he's actually just, chewing on. You were just asking like about chewing DoorDash part. earlier about like how much more expensive it is. Yes. Like for oh, yeah. example, like um, you know, like what Burger King will do like the two for five on their Whoppers or something. Sure. Well, Whoppers are just like five dollars and fifty cents a piece on DoorDash. Oh yeah. Because yep. they'll take the price at the restaurant and they'll just be like, you know what, people like this a lot, so I'm gonna add like a dollar eighty to it because. That's just free money, you know what I mean? So they they upcharge on every single thing that you order. So like, if oh, you yeah. were to go to like keep using it, like if you were gonna go to Saki and Not get me. like hibachi chicken for like eight dollars or whatever, mm-hmm. it's like ten dollars on there. Yeah, I used to do that a lot. Plus the so tip, I, I can the vouch. fee, <laughs> and the delivery charge, and the fee yep. five fo fo fee. Not yeah, worth it. Yeah, it's definitely not. So I have not used DoorDash since then. Like I am a hundred percent done with them. Hey, that, that's a much better reason to boycott something as opposed to me boycotting McAllisters. Why are you boycotting McAllisters? I love McAllisters. Uh, three separate orders. They remember the pickle on Michelle's food. They forget the pickle on my food. I'm done with them. That's <laughs> what I will that. say. I've had that's McAllisters a handful of times this year, and they do fucking forget that pickle, man. The pickles. I, I, I go through that too. It is because they got good pickles. They do. It's, it's so delicious. I'll just go to the firehouse, order it from the app, pick it up in like ten minutes, and they never forget the pickle. No, nope, they love they you don't. more. Shut that up. Firehouse yeah, remembers don't. the pickle. It's yeah. important to remember the pickle, man. This is a food podcast now, but it's just like everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> to our international this episode. To our international <laughs> listeners. Americans, we just think about food a lot because everything else in our society is cantankerous and strange. But at least we can always cho- cho- we can always have faith in our food choices or at least food options. Um, so that's why we just, just, just talk about food. I don't know if other just don't get it delivered. Do yeah, I mean, or just you know, when I think about the food being delivered, pizzas seem to be the best ones to be delivered because they're always just kind of like made for it. They're easily stacked. Well, they've got it down pat at this. Yeah. Point. They got, got that nice decades. little box they put it in that keeps it warm, yeah. you know? Yeah, and that's like a that's a thing that you can buy as a DoorDasher, I know, but like it's not a requirement, and that's a big problem. That's why a lot of None of them do that shit, man. None uh, of them do that shit. You know what? Since we're talking about DoorDash, the prime example, pizza delivery, right? Papa John's. You fucking if you pay with a card on delivery, they'll just fucking hand that shit off to DoorDash. And so you have really? to deal with a fucking DoorDasher. Yeah. The last couple times because nobody wants to work for Papa John's anymore because DoorDash pays them better. So everybody's a DoorDasher except for like the diehard driver that's worked at Papa John's for 28 years and like he can't deliver all the pizzas. So they've had to source out and deal with DoorDash. So even if you don't like DoorDash, if you order pizza from a place, it might be a DoorDasher that brings it. Every DoorDash delivery I've ever seen looked like a drug deal going on down. It looked like like some like a, a car with his headlights turned off rolled up, a bag was dropped off, <laughs> and the car just rolled away. Every time. Like it's just it's a vibe. If you order pizza, pay with cash. Otherwise it might be DoorDash. And Trust I didn't even mean to make that rhyme. Up. I didn't mean to that, make that, that rhyme. That rhyme was really good. That was good. I just, I just go and pick up my food. I gotta say, yeah, so do I now. I just, I'm always yeah, like, some people don't have a car. Some I people order don't have a car. their app, I pay them the money, and I go and pick up my own food. Yep. That's yes. 100% what I do, too. Some people don't drive, or they'll be working and they can't go. Just, uh, you know, send someone random a Facebook message to come pick you up. <laughs> oh, you want to talk about that? <laughs> yeah. You want to talk about that? <laughs> yeah. Hey, man. Talk about can, that? You, can you, like, come take me to get food? I'll give you $10. Stevie got old band hoes hitting him up and take him to go like go take him places and shit. 
<laughs> yeah, Stevie's I mean, DoorDash. <laughs> I used to, man, but now in my new spot, I don't really need rides anymore because I can walk everywhere. A man of modern times. Uh, a man of other country lifestyles because I do my know, best like, thinking in a car though. Most of it's probably usually like to drive. Well, I mean, if you yeah, walk, you can shut down. Just walk think. through nature to get to like you know food line or subway or whatever you know because it's like a five minute walk. But I mean, that's how it is in other countries. Like everything's within walking distance, but America's all set up for like you Vehicles. know. Yeah, truckers and stuff. Vehicles. Things are long distance. Um, yeah, I always forget you don't have a car. I mean, not having a car payment is nice, yeah. but having a car is very nice. That's for sure. Being able to get in a car. Well, not new, having one is pretty T-Swift. nice, too. The thing... <laughs> always listen to that. There's T-Swift. <laughs> well, I listen pretty to music good. in my house. But here's the thing, okay? What I will say about having a car is it's like having a cell phone. If you've had one... You can never not have one ever again. But since I've never had a car, I don't feel that way. You don't know what it's like to not have a car. Exactly. Well, I do. <laughs> but I don't Well, know. you don't know what it's like <laughs> to have a car. <laughs> I don't know what it's like to have one and then not have it again and then want it back. You know what I mean? I and love it's kind of like, well, I mean, they're cool, but it's kind of like Snapchat at this point. Like, I'm just not going to have one out of principle because like everybody always wild. bugs me about it. This is crazy. Oh, so you're so you're like being rebellious against getting a car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it's fuck, at this point, it's that. just a rebellion. It's just Four, a rebellion now. It's not $4 actually $4 like a gallon. Fuck that. It's less than that right now. The revolution but, is starting with Stevie. I yeah, well, needless <laughs> needless to say, that's why I don't go and pick up my own food. Although I don't really I, well, use DoorDash that much anymore either, because I just walk to the store and make my own food. Steven is in a niche kind of position. Uh, I see where Scott's coming from. If I had fuck you money, I would just like be door dashing things <laughs> and then give them to like the local animals. But I disagree with Jared mostly. And also like for me personally, like I said, if I, I wish I just didn't have to eat, but I got to eat. <laughs> so I see like once a day and I just go get the food myself. I have my car. I drive with that bad boy around. The thing about the, the most annoying thing about me, a car is when things break on it and you got to pay money to get them fixed. But the best part of having that. a car is I live in America and this is not a place for walking. <laughs> this is a place for driving. This is guy like unless you live it. in New York. Think unless you live in New York, too, man. I have Ugh. a way lower percentage of having to deal with the police because I don't drive. Not I don't true. have to deal with traffic stops. You're a man walking down the street at night. <laughs> Ooh. Through <laughs> a private neighborhood. I don't have to even get on the main yeah, roads even at all. Worse. Oh man. <laughs> Yeah, but like, they're they're out there trying to get people speeding or drunk driving. They ain't got time to deal with me carrying a fucking cart know. of groceries. If, it, if an anonymous report comes through that there's a gentleman walking through the neighborhood at night, wait, do you take a whole cart with you? No, I have, <laughs> I, have I have I have my own carts. I don't oh, take okay, their okay, carts. Okay. No, that because then the cops would have something to talk to me about. Because yeah, stealing. then they think you're homeless. Yeah, nah, you're nah, a vagabond. Man. I'm swagging, yeah. man. I'm too You're much on the when I'm walking. They, they know stealing, I'm homeless. Stealing food line carts or whatever. Meanwhile. So, so Stevie just said homeless people don't have swag. <laughs> this is getting out of hand, all right? <laughs> Meanwhile, in my life, I'm trying to talk myself out of not buying an F-150 in a year. So, you know, we all, we all, call, all come from different places. <laughs> we all have listen, our dreams. Listen, Jason, just, you know, embrace your inner Gastonia. You know? Yeah, I just need a truck. Yeah. Yeah. They're nice. Yeah, just get a truck, bro. Get you an F-150 and lean it like this. Oh, yeah. you can't in North Carolina anymore. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That I just remembered. Last year. Holy shit. We were driving into Charlotte uh, last week. We were going to Carowinds, actually. There was this car that had the tiniest wheels I've ever seen, but literally was bouncing. I felt like I was in the movie Friday watching this guy <laughs> it was unbelievable i have never seen that in person or i haven't at least since like the 1990s yeah they still exist it was a shitty car tiny little wheels but he was definitely bumping man and it went high like you could see him like up above everybody else like oh man it was impressive you know impressive. it's a little sad but kind of impressive i've been in a car i've well, I've been in a truck that did the hydraulic thing and like it's very yeah. surreal to be my size and be pushed up in the air like this it's a lot of mass it's like you're on a ride 
I'm like, damn, this thing's Literally. strong, man. You can fuck somebody up with this. It's insane. Sitting I'd here probably lo- get until it goes out. My spirit be leaving my body, man. It just true. Titties bouncing I'd, everywhere. I'd probably get very car sick. <laughs> I think. I definitely would. Well, come to think of oh, it, that yeah. was oh, like sure. early 2000s. So I agree with you about it being a 90s, early 2000s thing. Yeah, it really was. It really was. Now, so speaking of nostalgia, loud ass fucking mufflers. <laughs> I hate talking about cars, but I just thought that one was funny. All right, so talking about nostalgia, let's move on and uh, let's talk about some Gremlins one and Gremlins two. And I feel like we should like. Does anybody know the Gremlins theme song? We should have just done that. No, I can't remember what it was. No. I keep thinking it's Isn't that it? That's pretty close, yeah. I just think of of the Mogway like humming. Yeah, I think of Gizmo humming. Oh yeah. Yeah. I can't do that though. All right, so we are doing a new nostalgia glasses. The last one we did, you can check out from a couple episodes ago with the Goonies. Or was it last episode? Two episodes ago. I can't remember. Two episodes Two ago. Episodes. So with Nostalgia Glasses, what we do is we take old movies that we saw when we were kids, or some of us saw when we were kids, and watch <laughs> and Jason. we watch and we watch them again. <laughs> yeah, we watch them again. Or and we decide if they're actually good, if they're still good, if they still hold up, or if we're just seeing them through the old nostalgia glasses and we think they were good because we saw it when they were a kid when we were kids. So we're talking about Gremlins one and two today. We kind of just bundled them together. Uh, because they both, you know, were big movies in like the 80s and 90s. And, mm-hmm. you know, we thought it'd be good to just put it together because they're two wildly different movies in the same franchise, I think. Yes, they are. <laughs> That's the same. So thing. let's take it around the room. Uh, since last time I did most of the talking with uh, with the Goonies, Jared, let's let you begin with how you feel about Gremlins 1 and 2. Uh, the fact that you guys... Forced me to watch a Christmas movie prior to Thanksgiving. There. <laughs> Already put me in the wrong mindset for it. It was those two, man. He suggested it. Jerry or Jason is suggested it. And Scott yeah. backed him up. I, I all I said was you guys. Nope. Nobody said specifics, Stevie. We didn't, they, well, we didn't just, point you out. We're not signaling you out. <laughs> I'm I, you obviously feel guilty though. I had never seen the I, first I, Gremlins, so I had forgotten that it was a Christmas movie. I didn't know it was a Christmas movie. Oh, man. It it, oh, yeah. it hits Christmas hard throughout the whole thing. It does. It does. It does. It does. But you can also tell that Steven Spielberg did this movie because you get early Indiana Jones references at the beginning of the movie. True. True. Because you got the little kid that's taking the dad down to his grandfather's shop dressed like Short Round from Indiana Jones. Yeah. <laughs> and then... As soon as they introduce you to the radio host, he's dressed like Indiana Jones in his ad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so that just starts all of the, the hey, this is 100% just a marketing movie. Because mm-hmm. now I'm seeing it as an adult. It's a, look, You really think it was look, a marketing movie? Look, brother, they made so many toys for these movies. Oh, they really did. Oh, they really and did. And the whole purpose for two was to make more toys. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, sense. look at all look at all the different characters in two alone. Just the different mm-hmm. gremlins and mogwai. Most definitely. Mm-hmm. Toys. I mean, just like that Key and Peel skit, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I imagine that's the, the reason why Han Solo lived in Star Wars, so they can make more toys of him. You want a vegetable gremlin? Like a gremlin with just vegetables all over his face? You got it. <laughs> you want a spider gremlin? We got you, fam. It's terrifying, actually. <laughs> I, you want you want a gremlin that's gonna unlock things and certain people? We got one. She got big old red lips. So, in regards <laughs> to the first Gremlins, which I actually I had not seen prior, I'd seen the sequel beforehand. But first, it's a straight up horror movie. Like it's a straight, yeah, it really it's is. Supposed it's to be scary. A Christmas horror movie, and it succeeds very well. I really very much enjoyed the first Gremlins movie. I was trying so, to figure so it out. Even as a child, it. as a child, I laughed hysterically when they they messed with that. Uh, Elevator, not elevator, but the little person mover on the steps. When they were messing with that and terrorizing <laughs> that older person. Yeah. Oh, man, I, I laughed. Laugh. I know I wasn't supposed to laugh, but I laughed way too hard, and I did it again Woo! today. No, you, you were supposed to laugh because she was a beach, Mrs. Deagle. Well, yeah, Deagle. she was basically the Wicked Witch of the West because she was after the dog and was just a 
uh, see you next Tuesday. I think a lot about the lore of the Gremlins movies, which is never really explored, like about Gizmo. Like, are the things emitting from Gizmo, like his internal struggle, like his id? Because Gizmo's a chill dude. But unfortunately, if he gets fed at midnight or gets around water, it's how they spawn. He's, he spawns he's getting deep he, as hell. I know he's like a. But like, where does he come from originally? They don't. They never yeah, do it like an they origin they story. The... Is he the Ubermensch of like his species? Is what I'm trying to get at. Like, it's, it's a valid. I don't yeah, know. Never, like, why he is he the only one that like does that? Stage. I have a. I have a. Th- why is the only one that's alive? I have a theory. That's about true. This, actually, like, so no, he he's not the only one that multiplies because they in the second one. Yeah, they multiply in two. Yeah. Yeah. That's why there's so many of them, because Brainy's like, hold on, I can start this whole new universe. Because I want to know humans. why he doesn't, I want to know why Gizmo doesn't actually like go through the pupil stage. I have a theory. My head canon, all right. my head canon for all of Gremlins is that Gizmo is essentially like a living god. And, and basically <laughs> like all the things that, like his, his living offspring children are pure chaos. <laughs> The whole thing's an allegory for, like, Christianity in this one, where it's just, like, all the things that sprout from Gizmo are, like, creatures that are, like, spawning in their just, like, pure id creations. But Gizmo is, like, pure of light because he's a sweet little boy. It's just, like, he's got some real real strict parameters <laughs> that if you cross... He's a sweet little boy. He is. He's running around so cool. He's so musical, too. But, unfortunately, if you guess they're... Magwai. Magwai. So, I, I, I absolutely love the character, but... Like, I also just love how much the gremlins instantly, like, as a species, they quickly identify with the culture. So they're out here smoking cigarettes, shoot guns, robbing people, running people over tractors. Like, <laughs> having a lot of fun going into theaters. Although the theater in the first one doesn't make a lot of sense in terms of, like, dimensionality. It's like, on the inside, it seems like the world's largest movie theater, but it's not. It's real strange, but it's all good. doesn't matter. It's, like, real small. Yeah. yeah. But, like, it, everything in, like, just... The first one is an endearing movie for a lot of reasons. I really do enjoy it. The second one is genuinely one of those buck wild series singles series singles series yeah. sequels. There we go. Sequels ever made. Sequels ever made. Like they they parody themselves in their own sequel. Yeah, because yeah, like the way that the Gremlins act in that second movie is just so over the top. I'm like, damn, is this like directed by somebody different? Because like it was crazy. Like. Bleh! You know what I mean? Like it was just yeah. off the wall. So, like, Look, as a kid, I loved the movies, but watching it again as an adult, I'm like, oh, you just wanted to make money off the toys. Oh, hundred percent. Now, let me ask this: Why is Gizmo like the only good Mogwai of all of them? Like, why are all the other ones assholes? Well, that's because they're still kids. They're yeah, babies. maybe, maybe. So, is he like an older? He's, he's an he's older old Mogwai. Grizzled. I, I, I actually like this theory. So now I think more along the lines of like Gizmo is like a thousand year old being. And like he's just managed to like evolve to a point where he understands the power of his uh, his his species. So he's able to contain it. But he's still a bit of a klutz and he gets hungry and he'd be eaten. Although technically in regards <laughs> to the movie, he never gets fed after midnight. He gets blasted with water. And then his, his boys, they are the ones that eat after midnight and then all goes to shit. But... Yeah, they're the ones that fucked it up for everybody. So I'm reading, I'm reading, there's like a wiki for Gizmo. And it said, so he's the Mogwai. He doesn't seem to have a single mean bone in his body, making him an eternal or Mogwai who refuses to be evil. Mm. So I don't know where they got that from or they just made that shit up. But they like, made it up. None of that was explained in the movie at all. No. They had to have made it up because in the second movie, he's the one that kills the main bad guy. If he was he does, evil. but he has to. Uh, he had to. Uh, he didn't have a choice, real. man. He's Gizmo. You know, no, he's Gizbo at that point. He put on oh, yeah, his bow. That's true. Arrow. He's Gizbo. <laughs> he's Gizbo. <laughs> because he saw Rambo. And he, that's what Because he, he watched Rambo once. <laughs> God, I fucking love Gremlins. They're gonna make a apparently they are, they are making a third one that's coming out next year. I feel like it, there's supposed to be a third one. Is, oh yeah, are you I, serious? I, I, Dude, it's like money in the bank briefcase, man. You got to cash it in, dude. Yeah. It's, just it's like, coming yeah. around. Listen, if they do it, I just want lore. Give me some Agreed. lore. They need to give me Phoebe like, Cates again. Take me back. Yeah, she's like, dude. You know who now, else was in that first one? Good. Judge Reinhold. Well, yeah, and Jonathan Banks. 
Well, yeah. Freaking Mike yeah. from Breaking Bad. Who did he play? Did I see that? Yeah, that, he was, he was uh, the deputy. Yeah, but see, for Phoebe Cates and Judge Reinhold, they're still, you know, riding high off of uh, Fast Times. Mm, I've never true, seen Fast true. Times. We should put them on the list. Uh, Christopher Guest. Oh. Yep. Really? Christopher Guest is in Gremlins. Did he just go out? As well. he, he did, but it's fine. So, so I... I know what we're watching next. Am I gone? We, we have to watch Fast either. Times next, I guess? Watch, oh, that's two oh, that haven't watched Fast Times originally. Yeah, I, I haven't seen that one, so... I better reach you guys. Oh man! But we never answered the question about the nostalgia glasses. I think oh, I it was fun totally. as a kid, but as an adult, this was a hundred percent a money making toy factory. Yeah, yeah. Like I had, I struggled to sit through one. I was honestly, like, I'm just gonna watch it and also do laundry at the same time. Honestly, I thought one was pretty good. Two is entertaining, but like it's not a very good movie. I probably won't watch either one of them ever again, though. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I so, only, so I'd never seen them as a kid. I only saw the department store scene from the first movie as a kid. But yeah, um, I do think I do think that they hold up, and it's because of practical effects. I mean, there's some stuff oh, yeah. motion through it that's kind of shitty, but that's because that's all they had back then. You know, this was before you computer think, animation. Eighty four for first Gremlins. Yeah, and then nineteen ninety yeah. for the second. Yeah. So, so you got to forgive a long them on time the in stop motion. Yeah, you got to forgive them on the stop motion animation. But um, other than that, like all the practical effects and stuff, like it looked good. So I'd say it I does mean, it, hold it up. did. I okay. So I have I have a couple of things with them. The second movie is honestly it, it was just a cash grab, hundred percent, and it's kind of awful. Like it's really not a good movie when it oh, comes yeah, down the to it. All over the place. Yeah, it's just like here's this gremlin, here's this gremlin, here's what it does, and it mm-hmm. doesn't like, it doesn't have a real storyline. But then to it when suddenly it comes down there's to like thirteen hundred more. And you're like, right. hold on, <laughs> just all these other ones appear and they like take over this entire area, whatever. Yeah. So that that's fine. But the first one I think is still it still holds up to me. Right. The, like the, the first one on its own was something new. Right. Like you. You had that, but then you had critters, which they were taking over everything, and they were mean and nasty. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's true. But yeah, the the uh, the first one, it gave me nightmares as a kid. I had this recurring nightmare, and I swear I had it at least twenty times, where I was sitting in my house when I was younger, and I was sitting on my couch, and I was like a little bit afraid, and I didn't know why, so. All of a sudden, I hear my front door open, and like this gremlin just comes like walking slowly through my front door, walks up to me, and bites my hand off. Like that was a recurring nightmare I had as a kid at least twenty times, and I would wake up like freaked out. How come every the, single the time? Only reoccurring one was like the the red lipped one would like sit on my bed and start like poking me, and I'd wake up freaking out from that. Oh man! Yeah. From the second movie. How the first the movie again. All I could think of was was the the gremlins making the the chairlift malfunction, and it would just make me giggle some more. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, it. I mean, it definitely think, holds Jason? up, but man. Oh yeah. Oh wow, Jason. Like, so those are just listening to the audio. Think? We we've completely I lost think. Jason. He's gone. <laughs> I think so. That we need more lore. More lore. Um, I mean, yeah, we kind of do need a background story on on the Mogways. Yeah, I'd really like one too. I also maybe that's know how three. the dad cleared the airport security with a Mogway. Who knows? It was very laid back in the eighties, you know. It really I, was. I, yeah, I mean, I guess you could still smoke on airplanes, so I guess you could also take alien creatures with you. Yeah. Yeah. That's just how it is. Yeah, because you got to think he's is. carrying all those like wild ass tools. Like, remember he had that all in one travel bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah tool the tool set, the, the travel buddy. Yeah, so I mean, if you could get that on a plane with like a pocket knife and all that, I'm sure. Again, the '80s though. Yeah, <laughs> they were a lot more lax in the '80s. Pre 9 11, I mean, you could you could get buck wild with whatever you're bringing onto a plane. Yeah. Now they have drink limits. They do. Well, like you can't be, you can't real be sad. a certain drunk before you get on? No, you can't be a certain drunk while on the plane. 
they will oh. stop serving you. Oh, a hundred percent. That's that's a story. I think I think Zane brought that up in a in an episode he was on. Mm. Yeah, he did. I think he did. I have a really funny airplane story, but I'm gonna have to save it for later on. Unless we're trying yeah, to yeah. buy time. Jason had to reset his router, so he'll be back momentarily. <laughs> oh dang! So I guess we, I guess we have a quick minute. So I l- earlier this year in April, I went to Arizona for a, a work trip. On the way back was the worst airplane ride I ever had in my life. It was like the airplane ride from hell. We, so we flew from Arizona and it was a one way to, to Charlotte. And there was this guy on there fully decked out in like, he was, he was an American American. He was the American's Mm, American man. True patriot. True patriot. Well, this guy would not stay in his seat the entire time. You could tell he was on something. Can't tell a patriot what to do. So after we after we take off, you know, we're up in the air and the dude just like wouldn't sit down. He was just standing throughout most of the flight. The lady next to him is like really you could tell like she was getting more and more annoyed by him because he kept like making these like weird noises, too. And the flight attendants would keep coming up and be like, sir, can you please take your seat? Sir, can you please take your seat? And he'd like sit down for a second. And as soon as they leave, he'd get back up again. And this this happened for a solid hour. So it was about a four hour flight. And so this guy, finally, they're like, sir, please sit down, like stay in your seat. So he stays in his seat for maybe like 10 minutes. All of a sudden, he's like throwing up, just like vomiting uncontrollably in his seat over and over. Like this goes on for 10 minutes. The woman next to him is like, she's like in a living hell at this point. She's getting a refund. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she is livid. So we get close to Charlotte. We're like probably 20 minutes from landing and a horrible storm hits to the point where they had to loop us back around and we had to oh. land in this tiny little airport in Chattanooga. Oh man. We finally land in Chattanooga. This airport has like the the tiniest gate I've ever seen. Like we just stayed in the plane. Well, this guy is still like going crazy and suddenly like something happens to his eye. I don't know what, maybe he got vomited in it. I, who knows? So he's like, he's making these like loud, like I'm really like, ah, uh, ah, uh, like noises on the plane mm. for a solid, like half an hour. Finally, oh, they're like, do you just, do you just want to get off the plane, sir? Cause we'll literally just, t- you can get off the plane, find another way back. He's like, ah, I'm getting off the plane. I'm getting off the plane. So we're waiting another like 20 minutes because they have to like wheel in like the big stairs, you know, that like get you off of like private jets and shit. You have to walk on the tarmac. Yes, because there's we didn't like pull up into anywhere. Like we're literally in the middle of the tarmac just like waiting for this storm to pass in Charlotte. So finally, they they bring these wheels over. And the guy like gets off the plane. There's literally like a round of applause like after like (laughs) he gets off the plane. (laughs) And then, like, three other people, like, get off the plane, too. And finally, like, they close the doors up and finally we, like, take off, land back in Charlotte. Like, I think it was only, like, a 30-minute flight after that. But, oh, my gosh. Like, I'm, mm. I'm, I'm, I'm underselling how awful this was for a solid three and a half hours yeah, with sounds, this guy. But That sounds like why well, I wouldn't take a flight. But, I mean, I understand you had to fly. I had to. Yep. Yeah. I mean, but I've flown quite bad. a bit. Yeah, I've flown quite a bit, and that's literally the only time but I've had an issue like that. Maybe the guy was standing up because he knew if he sat down too long, he would throw up. Uh, I, I probably. It's but most he didn't likely like he tell anybody. Because nope. he also didn't want to throw up in the plane bathroom because he would think he was going to get sucked through it. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's Gone. true. Maybe, yeah. But Especially like, get, get on one of those something. paper bags, bro. Just ask for the paper bag, you know? And he didn't. He yeah. didn't. When you He's fly, too- ask for a paper bag. He's, He's too like, proud. Bah! Too proud. He he was too American for a paper bag, you know? Too American. Yes. Paper bag paper bag was made in America. Yep. I don't know. I don't know. So I guess we'll just move on and start. Uh, let's do some power rankings. And Jason will just catch up when he gets here. <laughs> Maybe. Or did you want to talk about uh, a cassette tape addiction you have to fill I mean, some time? I, we, we could probably talk about that. Um I mean, we're we kind of in the, the nos- we're kind of in the nostalgia glasses thing. So, 
Yeah. Just keep it going. <sighs> so yeah, I started buying cassette tapes over the past couple of months. And uh it's it's been kind of cool. I honestly it's it's kind of sad. I don't have anything to play them on yet, but I have them. So you just got them sitting there. Yes. So I have probably about 20 to 25 cassettes just just chilling. Me too. Uh, anytime I go out and see them. Do you still have your cassette tape from uh the Newfound Glory show we went to see a couple uh, years back? I, I do. So okay, I have I found mine when we were moving. I was like, oh man, oh, really? it's still in the plastic. <laughs> Dude, so is mine. And honestly, no tape players. I'm glad you told me about that because I'm gonna have to pull it out. Because yeah. <laughs> I think I have it like a bin somewhere. But no, I like I don't know. My my daughter kind of got me into it because she she has a cassette tape player at home. Of course, like the Stranger Things season four got her into it. Right. With all that that was going on. So, because yeah, she was running up that hill. Yeah. And she's like still running up it. So she got like burn, the Kate, burn, she got the Kate Bush CD. But I was like, it's we same. went, it's not the same. So we went to like the record, a record store that's like nearby me. And she wanted to look at cassettes there. I was like, oh, cool. Like maybe she knows what she's looking for. My child has no clue what the hell <laughs> she's looking for. I was like, so you're looking for like look specific artists? Tapes. She just wants cassette tapes. She knows none of these artists. I'm like going through. I was like, oh, this one's pretty. Like, do you want? Um, I can't remember what we even got that day. Oh, we got like Aerosmith and stuff. I was like, you want Aerosmith? She's like, I don't know. She's like, just pick me some. I was like, you don't know. You have no idea who they are, do you? She's like, no. Wow. Everything she listens to is on playlists. Like she knows of the Rolling Stones, but she couldn't tell me right. a Rolling Stones song. But they're on like a couple of playlists that she has on Spotify at this point. So yeah, okay. that's our future now. Our future is playlists. That's our future. Yeah, yeah that's that's not not for me. Right. Not for me. No, man. I mean I do listen to playlists, but like I always listen to albums too. Like I mean I know all about the shit that I listen to. Or like if a song comes up on a playlist, I'm like, damn, that's really good. I'll go check the artist out, and I always follow them and stuff. That way, when new shit comes out, I can hear it. Um, but yeah, I yeah. listen to the records. Um, but as far as collecting cassettes go, I mean, I have a little bit too, about 25. And um, it's great because when I was a kid, you know, I was the poor kid. So I didn't have like a, a CD player and shit. So yeah, cassettes was always what I had. And, and it's good. It's, it's, it's like a shitty good. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't <laughs> sound the best, but it's still pretty good. And I think the reason that I became more of an album guy through my life is because I didn't have the instant skip song button, you know, because on yeah. a cassette, you got to fast forward and rewind. So I was like, oh, let the shit play, man. Days. Nah, I would just let the shit play. And I was listening to stuff like Third Eye Blind's self-titled album when I was a kid, you know, and that yeah. whole thing start to finish is just a banger. So like, I was like, damn. But then I would get other bands' albums. Like I'd get Smash Mouth's, the one with uh, Walking on the Sun on it. I think it's called Fushi oh, yeah. Bang. And um, sounds right. That album sucks. Other than like two or three songs. So I did. I think I owned that one. Yeah. Back I have day. the I have the CD. I did not. But I oh. mostly collect CDs. Oh my gosh! Oh <laughs> my god! What is happening? <laughs> is she the good? <laughs> good lord! Yeah, the internet just the internet died back, baby. Oh my gosh! Oh, boy. <laughs> This is Are you this is phone, horrible, sir. Are you in the middle of a storm right now? Can you give us the weather report? <laughs> it's going rain. It's a, it's going it's rain. Shitty, that's for sure. It's it shitty good. Bad. It's shitty good. The lighting has improved though. It has slightly, but now we're just looking at the ceiling. I think. Did Jason just fall over? <laughs> he might have. No. He might have. So is I'm your not, your internet's wait, not I'm coming not back? back. Um, wait, I think my, wait. Oh, Lord. Maybe. This wait. is riveting content right now. Wait. A riveting. I just... I'm so glad we have all the people using their eyeballs for this. I know. It's great. Um, for, the, for the people who only listen to us, Jason has switched over to his phone because his internet has died, and we're currently staring at his ceiling. Yeah. Because he's put his phone down. It's a good look. Uh, oh, no, no, we're about the to, sky. We're about to get a Jason crotch shot or something. Oh, it sound, I heard a computer rebooting, so that's a good sign. Back up. Oh, yeah. You're going to have to leave this one. Oh, good. You're going to have to leave this one, though. I got to see like, the internet's working first off. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, man. 
Oh god. Hey man, it's it's riveting content, you know? Riveting. It's unplanned par- uh, parenthood. I can't uh, wait to hear the feedback on this one on Twitter. Oh my god. It's all things we can edit out, that's for sure. <laughs> oh no. We're keeping it. Leave it in. Gives, the, oh, gives yeah, this episode here. character. <laughs> yeah. We're Leave unique. This is the best. We don't we don't edit out our mess ups here on talking you, without you thinking. You're coming back with just like a close up of your face smiling like you're in that smile movie it was pretty fucking hilarious. It was kind of creepy, yeah. Now you look like bubbles from Trailer feel, Park Boys. I feel like Jason's already sitting in an F one fifteen and he's gonna give us a, a rant about something. Yeah, yeah, is that where you, you went to go buy a car and you And he's back? He's like, you know what's got a good signal? F He's back, baby. F one fifty Wi Fi, baby. <laughs> Why all my shit's fucked. Yeah. I'm back. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> you know why this happened, right? Because we didn't let him do any of the reverb this week. I know he hasn't oh, done no, any he reverb He used yet. it all. No. Yeah, he used it all. I yeah, know. Two weeks. Um, <laughs> oh, so he's fucked next episode too. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. I'm reset. No. No. I'm... No. 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 You used two episodes <laughs> worth of reverb. No. Plus the yeah, episode we recorded. It was so overused. He used it nine times in one episode. Because he had three that He episode. just kept using it towards the end. It was so much. He was just it like was so much reverb. We had to ground him. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess let's move on to power rankings. We're going to do our top five Thanksgiving sides. Jason, Jason can you just... got your list? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Up in here. I'm, I'm glad, glad to hear it. Oh, gosh. All right. He wrote it on so, paper in the dark. So, power ranking, top five Thanksgiving size. We're going to go from five to one. Who who wants to start? I, I love Thanksgiving. controversy. Okay. Jer- oh, Jared's got controversy. Oh, shit. Here we go. Number five. My least favorite is stuffing because it's never good. But you put it at number five, so it's still there's like. There's only so many sides for Thanksgiving. Dude, there's so many. I couldn't narrow uh, it down. I couldn't narrow it down. There's not that many sides. It's it's at least four different casseroles and some bread. No, there's no more than that. sides for Thanksgiving. You're in a weird place well, then because, what, because we got I way more up, than that. I looked up a list. It was like 80 different sides, but it was like 75% mashed potatoes with something yeah it was a different form of mashed potatoes different form of green bean casserole 42 different best candy yams so we're going to start with what i can tolerate and move on from there and that's <laughs> stuffing are you talking sometimes about like it's good good stuffing or you mean in general or are you talking about if like it's good i'll time? eat it if it's not i'll pretend like you've made good stuffing and we'll keep it moving so <laughs> what is good like is stovetop good stuffing to you or no. that's like a no okay all right no that's no like stuffing where you can tell someone broke up the bread themselves and they have that's a me. See, they follow that's the kind years. I make. That's the kind I make. I, I make know. it. I've never been to your house fresh. for Thanksgiving. Well, maybe we need to start. Well, we're having it at our I love house, to. So Sounds like a, that sounded like a threat Sweet. to me. It is a threat, motherfucker. Stuffing is fine. You just put gravy on it. It becomes like it's bread pudding vibes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Listen to the guy that's on a VCR tape. <laughs> yeah, basically. Jason on his Betamax. All right, Jason, number five for you. Uh, the rare chance that I actually like creamed corn. Creamed it's corn? Thanksgiving. Creamed corn. Where does corn in general? Is this the candy corn thing again from Halloween? No. You a corn oh, guy? Heavens, no. No. no, he yeah, hated candy yeah. corn. Oh, yeah, I usually right. don't like corn, but I'll make an exception when it comes to Thanksgiving. That's my mistake. Man, that's a weird one. Creamed corn. I yeah, don't think I've know, ever had creamed corn I've as a side of Thanksgiving. A side of Thanksgiving. But no. you know what? I mean, it works. It works as a Thanksgiving side. It does. It does. Any vegetable, yeah. really. I like creamed corn. I fucks with I would say creamed corn is no longer a vegetable. It is now a American chemical product that's consumable. But <laughs> yeah. I told you. F 150 rant. <laughs> All right, Stevie, number five. Barbecue meatballs on a toothpick. I'm about that life. Yeah. That's you know, an they, appetizer. They make them in the in the slow cooker and stuff. That's not an appetizer. It's a side. Yeah, yeah that's, I, an appetizer. I, I, that's a side. I've never had an appetizer at difference? a Thanksgiving dinner. It's always I've, been. A side is something that goes to the side of the turkey on your plate. 
An appetizer I've never, is something I've you pull that. out of the slow cooker on a toothpick and you eat it. I, I think those at the side side. Agreed. Every Thanksgiving that I've been to, it's always been part of the, the whole meal. I've never that's had so meatballs at Thanksgiving. I've had those at Super Bowl really? parties. As yeah, that's appetizer. like – And sometimes Easter. No, Super I've Super Bowl had, parties I've, and sometimes Easter. I've had them, man. That must be a Southern thing. I think oh, it 100% is. is yeah. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> They're Definitely. so good. I didn't say They're they so weren't. <laughs> No one's disagreeing at that point. You, you said I couldn't do desserts because I had a dessert picked out as number five as well. But Shit, yeah, I got one. Desserts, desserts are desserts dessert. and not sides. Oh, That's a completely it's, different course. It's two to side, man. Stevie's got big plates. <laughs> I do, man. I do. Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday, man. I love all, all right. the Thanksgiving food. So right, Scott, what's no, your number five? So number five, I had a difficult time deciding between two casseroles, so I'm just going to take both of them. <laughs> so <laughs> sweet potato casserole and green bean casserole, they're like on the same level for me. Now, let me qualify the sweet potato casserole because there are some misconceptions about sweet potato casserole. I like mine with the marshmallows and the pecans and also with some bananas in that shit too. Yes. It's amazing. You put it all, okay. you mix it all in together. Real good shit. Green bean casserole. I mean, green bean casserole, you know how to make green bean. Green bean casserole, you you put the cream of mushroom soup in green beans. Green you bean put them cast. fucking fried onions on top. That's all you need. You got him right. And it always tastes like dog shit. It you are crazy. It is the <laughs> Oh, my God. Get him out of here. Made. Oh, my God. Get him out of here. Uh, get him, get him out, here. out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. This fucking oh, wants to drop your call. He wants You're cream crazy. corn over <laughs> green bean casserole, man. That's all yeah. American. Oh, I do. It's so bad. Oh, it's so And good. the people always do I'll admit, like my family would always, for some reason, use green beans out of a can for the casserole over the fresh ones. So it tastes extra bad. It's so disgusting. You gotta get them with French that cut. Amazing. The French cut beans are where it's at. Nah. That's it. Beans. That's it. All right, Negative. Jason, number four. I'm gonna say it just because I've ate it as a side. I don't consider it a dessert because I've ate it as a side. Do you guys remember from early back in the podcast days I told you about the like that marshmallow whipped yes. cream stuff? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Congealed salad. On this, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, are you talking I about knew it was gonna come in? Are you Congealed talking about salad. Seven cup salad? Is that what you're it's talking about? It's got so many Maybe. different names. It's like it fruity does. with Seven like marshmallows. Salad. But it's shit. not fruit salad. Yeah. Because fruit salad is literally just fruit medley with a uh, whipped cream on top. Yeah. What Jason's yeah, talking about was almost better. like a jello. You have to uh you have to like bit. send me a picture of that if you have some at your Thanksgiving it, feast. Look year. up it was always, salad. Nobody nobody <laughs> makes it anymore, unfortunately, Steven, but you've had it. It's the shit that's green. They're like yep. grandma made. Green? Oh yep. she usually made in a bunt cake mold. Yeah, that's yeah. not what I'm yep. thinking of then. Oh I'm thinking of like a uh it's like a pink marshmallow looking thing. It's like fruit Oh no, that shit's disgusting. It's like fruit salad and marshmallows. I know what you're talking shit. about. That tastes pretty good, too. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, the I've palate had of well. an 80-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> Crepe corn and congealed salad. Corn, congealed salad. <laughs> Everything he could just mush with his gums and maybe, swallow whole. Maybe he just had a lot of grandparent food when he was growing up. Listen, for someone that I really did. likes <laughs> chewing, you sure are into mushy shit. <laughs> For man who hates gushy candies, yeah, sure gushy. you like a lot of gushy foods. Gushy. I do some. Yeah, I do. Maybe I do. Like <laughs> this All podcast right, Stevie, like self help. Stevie, cast. number four. Number four, man. Yep. Mashed potatoes and gravy, baby. Only number four. Only number four. Only number four, man. Wow. Okay. But All you know, right. I do love some gravy, and I do like some mashed potato. I respect it. I respect it. All right. My number four, deviled eggs. Deviled the eggs. The best. They're always good. You can't, you cannot fuck up deviled eggs. I've no, never had no. a bad one. Like, did you put I mustard have. in a yolk? Then it's good. You had a no, bad deviled egg? Work. How? Oh, yeah. I, they're always the ones that get at like restaurants where they just taste like lifeless. They're so, they're really not good. Um, and usually one one of the one reason they're not 
for, for whatever reason, a lot of restaurants, they don't put like a cayenne or paprika in it. Yeah, I've seen that a lot too, but like they're still like okay. Some of them use like pickles and stuff on top. Like they've been getting crazy. We've That's ordered them and it's like, it is. Yeah. Just give me the sprinkle that paprika shit. That's Manny's all you need, man. salt and pepper, baby. Yeah, that's it, yeah. man. Mm-hmm. That's it. Although that's I do think that this year, uh, the worst part is fucking peeling the eggs. So I think this year I'm just going to buy the pre-peeled boiled eggs. I mean, it works the same, you know? Yeah. And eggs an and eggs and eggs. Egg. That's it. All right, that's Jared, right. number four. Uh, the green bean casserole. Oh, God. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's good. Yeah. I don't oh. care what old mushy mouth over here says. <laughs> <laughs> you think you like it? It's a mushy thing. I, I guess the yeah, fried onions on top get him. too much. Yeah, the it's fried too onions solid on top. Of a food. That's it. It's just like the way the green bean. Like, I swear, whatever for whatever reason, I don't have any green bean beef necessarily. The second you put it in a casserole, it turns into like the grossest thing. Well, you gotta think, universe. Jason. Yours is canned green beans, whereas most people know, use I've... real green beans. True. That's not true, I, but don't, most people do use the cans. Don't do, don't do green beans bad like that. Don't like I just, I'm not usually this vehement against the food, but man, green bean casserole is like, it should be outlawed. Man, all right, hold me, right hold me back, hold me back, goddammit! I'm about to kick hold his back. ass. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna come right through that screen. We're gonna hop into your F-150 and kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna call right, and beat you as soon as someone picks me up. <laughs> All right, Stevie, Jason, number three. Him. Number three, deviled eggs, baby. You know what it is. There we go. There we go. We've said all we need to say about deviled eggs. Mm-hmm. They bomb yep, us hell. That's true. All right, so my number three is kind of weird, and I'm gonna I'm gonna qualify it first. So when my grandmother was young, their family didn't have a lot of money. So they had to kind of like come up with really cheap sides to make for Thanksgiving. So this is kind of a nostalgia dish for me that I have every year. But it's literally oyster crackers in gravy. So like you put the gravy on the oyster crackers in a bowl. Not against it. And you just, that's it. Like there's nothing more to it. But it's like the good ass gravy that you get from the turret. Like it's not yeah, the, yeah. It's the true jar brown. gravy. The true gravy. And that that's literally it. But like I've always loved it. Since I was a kid, we had it every year for Thanksgiving as like a like a throwback to like when my grandma was a kid. So oyster crackers and gravy is my number three. I'll be honest with you, man. I'm, I'm not even oyster. sure if I've ever had an oyster before. It's not an oyster. It's not an oyster. It's the little. It's just a. It's just a cracker. Crackers. The tiny little crackers. Oh, you mean like the really the communion themselves. crackers? No. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> oh, okay. Look up like look up oyster crackers and you'll okay. see an Amazon. Really good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because you know yeah. I won't be able to drive there. Premium. It's premium. Oil. You got to get the premium ones. Don't get. Don't ever get the off-brand oyster crackers. They taste like ass. Yeah. I mean, yeah, what do you think? They always are. They're too dry. Dry and real stale. See how you use store-brand ketchup, bro? It's top shelf or nothing. You better not. Heinz or nothing, man. Uh, it's a Heinz household. I use store. I, I buy store-brand everything. That price Scott, you know it's not a Heinz household? The Pittsburgh Steelers Stadium. We don't talk about that over here. Jared, give me your number three. <laughs> It's deviled eggs, baby. Deviled eggs, yes. Keeping them going. Jason, number three. Uh, the occasional baked beans that sometimes <laughs> like happen at a <laughs> What? What what Thanksgiving do you go to? Jason's here at a fucking barbecue now. So we cream got cream corn, corn. congealed <laughs> salad. Yeah. Baked beans. <laughs> are you at like a summer picnic or are you at Thanksgiving? I can't decide. He shows up and they're just you waiting at Thanksgiving. Oh, no, nobody has that at Thanksgiving. <laughs> no pun. Baked beans. <laughs> I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure I have. It feels right. <laughs> I think I'm right. Jason's trying to remember which holiday he's been to. Yeah, I know if I've had baked beans at Thanksgiving before. They slap. Oh, my God. They slap at Thanksgiving? Pretty sure. They, man, we need they to, slap we need at to that too. July Thanksgiving. We need to Google this shit. I'm sure somebody has beans for Thanksgiving other than he's celebrating yeah, green like, beans in a casserole. He's celebrating like nah. Canadian Thanksgiving or something in the middle of the summer. Yeah. <laughs> he likes his Thanksgiving's <laughs> mild. Oh God. Actually, Canadian I Thanksgiving is in October. My bad. My Funny bad. thing it's about Devil Day, though. I meant to bring this up earlier, but uh, one time I was talking about Thanksgiving with a buddy, and I was like, dude, we're gonna make so many deviled eggs. And he's like, dude, 
I'll shove a devil egg up my butthole. And I was like, what? <laughs> he was just trying to be funny and shit, but like, I made a meme out of it and everything. I'll send it to you. Challenge I'll send it to accepted, you later. I guess. Challenge accepted. That's going to be Gucci. Okay. All right. So let's keep it going. Number two. Going. <laughs> number two. I think it's me first. So number two, yes. stuff, stuffing for me, but not the stovetop. It's got to be the fresh. Like I just bought some fresh bread and I peeled that shit up and I used some onions and some chicken broth and some butter and, you know, made it up nice. So you got to have the good stuffing. Again, <laughs> I don't mind stuffing if it's good. That's yeah. why it made the list. That's it. Jason, That's it. I love it. Jason's frozen face is killing me, bro. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Am I frozen again? That looks yeah. like a man yeah. that eats baked beans yeah. for Thanksgiving. With it looks like and cream corn. It looks Uh-oh. like a six-year-old man's Facebook profile pic what. taken with like a oh, Motorola yeah. razor. Jason, with, oh, sides, yeah. with side dishes like that, turkey must be the bomb. Oh, you're back. Uh, he has he has chicken for Thanksgiving. Chicken. Oh my God! All <laughs> right, just kidding, Jared, man. number two. Mashed potatoes and gravy. And gravy together. What's more? Yeah, so do you like them creamy the or time. lumpy? Creamy or lumpy? Uh, a nice blend of the two, actually. Yeah. I'm like if there's a little bit of a potato chunk, that's fine. But if it's basically just yeah. smashed potatoes, then that's not the same. That's true. Those need to be baked. We like that that, that's true. that mid. Yeah. And I see. But, you know, you got yeah, to be able to get your spoon down to, to make a nice little crater for all the gravy you're dumping on that beef. That's right. But it doesn't need to taste mid. It doesn't no, need no, to no, taste no. mid. It's got to be top shelf. It's got to seasoning. It's gotta you, be don't, you don't buy the packet for this. Oh, never. No, never. you got you to gotta make No, these potatoes. are potatoes. At the very now, least, you got to fucking get Bob Evans because that's like, that's all right. That's like middle shelf. That's not even at the least. So, do you keep the peels on? Peels or no peels? Because sometimes I opt for the peels, man. I just I, throw I that shit all in there. I don't. I don't hate on a peel in my mashed potatoes. It adds a little, uh, little flavor to it. A little bit of crunchiness too. I, I dig yeah. it. I dig it, man. All right, trying. Jason, number two. It's got to be like sweet potato casserole. But how do you make it? We've got an actual Thanksgiving side. I know it's weird. I guess, but yeah, um, <laughs> you know, pecans. Mellows, Pecans. marshmallows. Um, yeah. It's definitely more of a southern Thanksgiving thing because, like, I never grew up with this or candy yams at Thanksgiving. Yeah, it is. I, I had yams are pretty good. I too. had yams up north, but I I didn't have like sweet potato casserole until like later on. And my uncle like made it to like try it one year, and that's how that's when I had it with the bananas, and I I never looked back after that. I was like, <laughs> that's bomb as hell. Like it almost qualifies as a dessert at that point. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, man, I kind of... The bananas aren't the worst idea. In my household, it's always been a dessert. Really? Yeah, you talk about, like, with the... Mu- well, not mushrooms, Jesus Christ. Marshmallows on top? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a dessert. No, it's, all, it's always been a side here, but... I yeah. mean, sweet potato... All right. Is mushrooms. there a difference between sweet potato pie and sweet potato casserole? Yes. Yeah, one's a pie. It's on a sweet, pie sweet potato pie is basically pumpkin pie made with sweet potatoes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Casserole is more like chill. Yeah. Just a bunch of shit more, mixed together more. in a pan. In a casserole I feel, I dish. Know, yeah. Man, in a casserole I think dish. sweet potato pie is pretty chill too. I mean, it's good, but it's a side. It's a dessert. It's not a side. Okay. But it has so, marshmallows in both. A pie can There's marshmallows in both, right. pecans in both, and sweet potato in both, right? No. no. Sweet, po- sweet potato pie does not have marshmallows. It does not have pecans. It doesn't have marshmallows it's on top of it? No, no, it's literally just pumpkin pie but with sweet potatoes. Casserole. Yeah. Well, shit. My mom's been making sweet potato casserole shaped like a pie my whole life. Respect, man. You gotta Respect. use the right pan, but she yeah, she tricked works. you. She tricked you real good, real real. She's good. like, here you go. Here's some sweet potato pie. My face when I found that out is Jason's frozen face. Another frozen. <laughs> Jason. I'm a frozen again. Yeah, yeah you're frozen again. <laughs> I think I I think I'm on Wi-Fi now. I'm not sure. So can you like go back uh, to your my, computer? My is... <laughs> cool, 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 cool. All right, Stevie, right, so number, number two. two. <laughs> number two. Okay, so number two is stuffing, whether it's fucking stovetop or good shit. I don't care. I like stuffing in general. Yeah, me neither. It's all fucking stuffing and it's all fucking good. You're all you're you're gonna like mush it in with a bunch of other stuff or whatever. It's I'm like, just gonna skip it. That. Dude, that's just good, man. 
I, and All right. Like some Stopping some people boys. will stovetop it and then they'll pep it up by adding the extra shit. So then you have like a mixture. Yeah, I think of like I just fresh. rather start with the extra shit, man. Dude, I'll straight up. I'll eat stuffing for the fuck of it, like during like June. You know what I mean? Like, I love stuffing. <laughs> the thing about stuffing is, like, what's the worst that can happen? It's gonna be stuffing. It's gonna be all right. It's not gonna be life changing, but it's gonna be life affirming. It takes up space on my plate. You gotta get bigger plates. Yeah, man. that's, that's space you, I make, man. That's I'll send space you one I make. Of my plates, Jared. The one that you know has room for appetizers like- and pies. Not like with food on it, but like I'll send you a plate. I personally like though going back for more than one plate. Like I'm a three plate kind of guy. I might. Wait, wait, wait. The guy I who might... hates eating is willing to go back for three plates worth of food. He loves Thanksgiving. It's not that I hate eating. I just hate thinking about. I'm like, fine, dude. That's all. I'm all right. Hey, well, we're on to number one. And plate are going to play, man. Back around to Jared. Number one. Mac and cheese. Oh, snap. First time. I honestly, I was wondering if anybody was going to put mac and cheese on the list. Oh, it's but me. I, I somehow knew. Because I, somehow I usually knew. go back for like seconds and thirds of mac and cheese. There's just something about it. cheese on pasta that will never, ever get old. And it's always nope. good. Always good. All right, Jason, number one. I've got to still go with deviled eggs. As number one. Although mac and cheese is a very good option. Yeah, they're just like the best thing in the universe. I could eat like, I could eat 40 hard boiled eggs. Like, I couldn't cool hand loop it, but for some reason, I feel like I could do 40 <laughs> deviled Nothing eggs. Nothing like 60s and, movies reference. One like, go <laughs> with, with, with your baked beans and your seven cup salad. And- Dude, you are probably like just right a now. ball of gas after this like Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> you got to add the turkey to it with the trip yeah. fan and the and the turkey farts. You got eggs, you got yeah. beans, you got cream corn. Jason's just <laughs> laying lit. on the couch snoozing and letting them go. That's why you don't like fucking eating. It's lit. So you mix it all. Oh that. my god. I just like. The thing is, is like. Fasting is a lot of fun because it means I don't have to think about eating. And then when I finally do eat, it's a fucking good time. I guess so. All right. Stevie, number one. That's good. Green bean casserole. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Jason passed out. <laughs> That's my favorite ish for Thanksgiving, man. I, oh with God. extra wow. dried onion. Dude. Oh, That's what Jesus the fried onions God. on top. They make it, man. They make it because like the top ones stay crispy, but then when you mix it in, you got like a little bit of soggy, like fried onion in the middle too. Yeah. Mm. And I'll even do you one better, man. Like when you go to eat leftovers, I don't, I don't heat up the green bean casserole. I leave that shit cold. Really? Yeah. I like it. I, like I haven't it. tried that. I like uh, it hot I, I, and cold. I haven't tried it, but I'm here for it. Yeah, I'm dude. here for it, man. Dude, it's so good. Especially like with Maybe the double I just egg, don't you like know? green beans. You know what you do? It sounds like you don't like green beans. I feel like you could literally have hot Thanksgiving and then like later have cold Thanksgiving and it's a whole different meal. Yeah. That's like a whole different palate well, yeah, right usually there. Usually the turkey becomes a sandwich. It's right. A re- it's a reward. Yep. It's a reward. Thanksgiving for part two is Since you Thanksgiving had hot cold. Thanksgiving, we're going to give you cold Thanksgiving tomorrow or later yep. tonight. It's usually later tonight for me. You know, because like after you spend all that time hauling the turkey and the ham out of the fridge... You're like, dude, I'm not sticking this shit in a microwave. I'm getting what I want, and I'm getting out of here. I got stuff to do, man. I got eggs to eat. That's true. Especially in Jason's case, where he'll eat 40 deviled eggs. 40 deviled eggs. Yeah, I'm worried about you, bro, With man. a can of cream corn. <laughs> I got eggs to eat. <laughs> you got to be careful, man. Don't, <laughs> congealed salad. Salad. don't eat 40 oh in one God. go, man. Eat 40 no, don't over do a that. weekend. It's only 20 hard-boiled eggs at that point. Yeah, yeah it's only 20 because like, they're in halves, yeah. but so it's about, fine. Think about the salt and the mayonnaise. Jason fast for like a reason. It. Yeah, for that meal. So his body can process yeah, like, all that. He's been, he's been saving up for this this event. We're doing... I'm probably going to like fast pretty hardcore like the day before things. That'll just make your stomach smaller, by the way. Yeah, it's, eat as much. it's not a good idea. We actually, you need to prep it. You got to prep, yeah, man. True. This year for the, like a sandwich <laughs> at least that morning. For the right, first pre-meal. time this year, we're, we're ordering most of our Thanksgiving from Honey Baked Ham. Oh shit! So all I gotta do is like make some gravy and some rolls and like some fucking uh, deviled eggs. Everything else, 
Like I'm getting the stuffing from them, the green bean casserole, mac and cheese, and I'm getting mashed potatoes. Nice. And ham and turkey. All right, well, my number... I just found a random mouth guard. Good work. Uh, my number one... Yeah, thank you. I mean, it's it's mashed potatoes, and I, I want to give an honorable mention to mac and cheese because, like, it was on my list, but it just kind of slipped off because I'm not making it this year, but I usually do. Yeah. Why are but, you not yeah, making it this year? I'm not... It's just... Yeah. It's a lot right? of work to, like, make it homemade because I don't, I don't fuck around, man. Like, I get like legit cheese i make like the cheese from scratch too like you make a roux first and then like mix all that shit together so you and i use like you milk the cow and- i milk the cow <laughs> i i churn i churn the fucking butter and then like i i bake the bread and then i dry it out and then i sprinkle that shit on top for like the crispy top crust and then bake that oh mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that's where it's at man Damn, it's real good but i'm not making it this year so you start I'm on monday Jesus, dude! I typically start like a day or two before with a lot of. Oh well, yeah, stuff. you got you got a pre. Oh, I forgot to mention, I'm getting a cheesecake too. I forgot about that. But um, you know, so you wouldn't even settle for buying like a Stouffer's, Jason taking a nap, <laughs> a, a Stouffer's Mac, <laughs> and then like putting shredded cheese on top of it. You wouldn't even settle. Nah, I homemade. You can, it. Have, you can have mac and cheese though. <laughs> Nah, dude, my shit's all homemade. Scott, Scott, do you want me to send it. you the uh, the crock pot recipe my mom would use? Yes, for mac and cheese. Yes, I do. Okay, send that shit over, man. <laughs> and we've lost Jason completely. Uh, he's got to get to the F one fifty. He's here. He's back. He's here. He's back. <laughs> my uh, my internet. He's got his flashlight going. Are you in a fucking mine shaft, bro? <laughs> I think he is. I feel like he's on the movie Goonies right now. Yeah. I'm telling you, he's trying to escape yeah. the Blair Witch. He's in a cave. It's weird because my internet's on, but I, I, my internet's not on. It's on, but it's not on. Did you pay the bill? I don't know what's going on. Did you pay the bill? Yeah. I don't know what to tell you. I got, I got a, a flashlight that barely works and a phone. This is, this is like a Frontiersman podcast. Yeah, we're hoping for the best. All right, well, let's move on to... Uh, <laughs> Judge and jury, hopefully Jason will stick with us here. So we just wanted to do a quick follow-up this week. We're not going to do a full judge and jury segment, but I don't know if you remember a couple, uh, I think it was probably two or three episodes again or ago, we were talking about uh, the guy where his wife decided to go and or his fiance that decided to go and sleep in her car overnight because she was too tired to drive. Well, he uh, he posted an update. And apparently he and his fiance have been fighting solidly since that happened. He's the one that called the cops on her because he was was worried and looking for her because she was missing. So she got really mad at him for that and uh, was upset at how awful he was for calling her a liar because he didn't believe anything she said either. But then he decided to do a lot of soul searching and made a call uh, and decided to bury the hatchet with her because he loves her. But uh, he had no proof she was lying. Well, it turns out what happened was he uh, he was at lunch and went to pay for his food and his card was missing. And he went and checked his bank of account, bank account and there was $1,500 on it that just disappeared. She had been apparently doing cash withdrawals and she was going to a casino. And apparently has a gambling addiction. Oh, man. man. Oh, no. Oh, what a waste of I'm money. telling you. So we all thought she was cheating on him. She kind of was, but with the casino. The house always so, wins. To- total Damn. twist. Like, I was kind of surprised whenever I, I found this. Thankfully, uh, my girlfriend found it and sent it over to me a couple of days ago. She she goes through this uh, through this subreddit pretty frequently. It's her favorite, so. But yeah, she happened to see this one. I would rag, I would rag my spouse so hard. Like, you got a gambling addiction? What are you fucking like, Eddie Eddie Vinavizi from New Jersey, nineteen sixty five? Your shit. Hey. <laughs> but yeah, I I honestly, I'm not a big gambler, so I've done it a couple of times, and yeah. it's just, just not my thing, my, man. My brain focuses on what I could have bought with that money. It, that's the way I am too. I I'll feel tell you bad what for him, but. The thing is, is like I check all of my accounts multiple times a day. I just can't believe yeah. he he overlooked this. 
Yeah, it must, it must be nice to live that kind of free lifestyle where you don't need to keep up with your shit all the time. Yeah, I feel you, man. It's always good to like, yeah, like, I. Well, also, this is an argument for not having. Uh, this is an argument for having separate bank accounts as well. <laughs> well, they they did have separate bank accounts. She stole his card. Yeah, she, she stole swiped it. Took the money. Yep. Uh, see, that's why you got to have a fake card. See, like. A fake oh, card. Jason, fake is, card. Jason yeah. is saying don't have trust in the that's, beginning. That's a great way to have a relationship. Fake cards, so lying, you get, cheating, you get, stealing. What do you, well, Eddie you do? So, yeah, for real. <laughs> Viva La Rasa, man. Got me a lot. What you do is you, you have your existing card. You cancel it, get a new one, don't tell anybody, and then you hide that one. And so you only ever have like the, 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 uh, the, the old right, card. Right, but the... Like you keep that one. But like, the thing is, like this guy had no idea she was doing this at all. Yeah. So it was like she just randomly stole his card one day. So. He he couldn't pre plan for that relationship. Right. He had trust, Whereas but Jason it's... says DTA. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I'm just saying, like, if if my uh, if my spouse, like, every time like, like a gambling commercial came on, if they were like fawning at the mouth, I'd be like, uh-uh. yeah. I don't yeah. think that's how that addiction works. So, <laughs> and end of the story here. <laughs> he uh, he finally decided he was done. He canceled everything that was in his name that she was a part of, including her phone line, her car insurance, um, and the that car that he down. gave her. So yeah, he he said, "quote I am evicting her from my life." So apparently lies, him. cheating, and secrets are fine, but theft is where he uh, he draws That's the, line. the line. It's the line, man. That's the line. I think it's so. the 1500. Well, because, like, think about it, man. It's like he was worried that she, like, had something bad happen to her. Like, he was concerned originally, and then he finds out the bitch has been stealing. Well, the lady has been stealing $1,500 from him to go yeah. have fun at the casino while he's worried about her. I can't. The Jason picture, Dude, man. He's definitely not the asshole. Well, no, he's not the asshole for sure. But like, that's oh. that's wild how that turned out. And I'm glad that we even got a follow up because I was kind of wondering what the heck, man. Yeah, I mean it's 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 good that he decided to post back. I'm glad we got closure on that. You know, I can move yeah. on with my life now. I need I that wonder, closure. I wonder if I'm gonna get like an anonymous letter in the mail that says I know, and it's just a photo of like. The burrito. <laughs> That's why your internet's not working. We're like Bradley found you. We have successfully oh, wrapped all the way back around. Guys, help. We have. We have. And I think that's our that's our cue. Let's uh let's go to best week of the week, <laughs> man. Let's go to best week of the week. So who's having the best week of the week this week? And I mean it it's Thanksgiving week. It's the time where you spend time with people. So this week. I think friends and family are having the best week of the week because, you know, someone, some people yeah. don't like have Thanksgiving with their family. They do the Friendsgiving thing too, depending on where you are. So, you know, just have a good week this week. Enjoy eating some good food, hanging out, watching some football. If you do that, can I tell you? You can, you can't tell me. Tell us. <laughs> Let me tell you the worst Thanksgiving story I have. And we'll close we'll, And we'll close with I this. <laughs> Back when I was in college, um, fuck you, Betty Farmer. Back when I was back in college, I had a class <laughs> where I, I I missed a Thanksgiving to write a paper that didn't that I didn't even have to write. You know, and the class was so poorly managed, and the communication was such shit that like I basically stayed and wrote a paper that didn't fucking matter for a class. That I think I got like a fucking C. Is that was the teacher? Betty? Yeah, I'll never. I'll never look. Betty Farmer, I'll never let that bitch fucking forget it. God damn it. <laughs> I hope she listens. Like, she just Ended like on a high note, baby. That in the middle it's of that. Ended on a high note. fan. Uh, woo! For all these years. <laughs> I, I got a diploma. It People doesn't now. But basically, like, I, I stayed I stayed at home while my parents went down like down south to uh, our family to go to Thanksgiving. I'm sitting here type some dumb fucking liberal arts bullshit paper. And I get back to school and they're like, oh, you have to write a paper. I was like, fuck. Oh. God, I'll never, I'll never. Think about it now; it makes me kind of angry. All right, Just guys, let it go. Well, all, all of you have a fan. 
fantastic I, Thanksgiving. I'm good now. I'm Have a great now. Thanksgiving, everyone. We appreciate you all Have listening. We're thankful for all of you for listening uh, for real, every single real. week. Uh, I highly urge you this week to watch this episode on YouTube because just the faces we get from Jason <laughs> that keeps freeze framing <laughs> are worth it. 100% worth it. But if not, we're on Spotify. You can watch the video on Spotify as well. So in either place, youtube.com slash at Talking Without Thinking. Find us at Talking Without Thinking everywhere, at TWTPCast on Twitter and Instagram. We appreciate you all. Have an amazing Thanksgiving. If you're listening to this after Thanksgiving, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Otherwise, we will uh, see you guys next week for uh, another episode. Oh, what? Wait, did- did it sound like I wanted to did it sound like I want to shove an egg up my ass? No, I think your roommate needs to shove an egg up his ass. He's full through on the challenge, Steve. That was like That's 20 <laughs> minutes ago. Oh man. Oh my god. Yeah. I didn't, it just hit me. I'm not that's not my thing. That's not, that's not my personal thing, but your roommate I didn't needs to say follow it was my roommate, man. I just said it was a friend. <laughs> I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna oh, tell friend. anybody's I mean, name. Every 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 friend is a roommate in the right circumstances, I suppose, but they need to go shove the egg up their ass. That's all I'm saying. There you go. Not me. Guys, we love you all. Okay. Well, we'll see you Bye. next week. Goodbye. <laughs>